Fisherman gets sea safety training. Tobago celebrates International Day of Disaster Risk Reduction, and all schools close tomorrow as the nation celebrates its teachers. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. The island's fisher folk are being trained to ensure they are safe at sea. Here's more from Omadara Mills. For Tobago's fisher folk, safety at sea is a priority. That's why the Division of Agriculture, Marine Affairs, Marketing and the Environment has provided them with sea safety training. The Division's Assistant Secretary, Hayden Spencer, explains what was covered during the session at Milford Bay. We would have completed a series of training engaging the fisher folk of Tobago in the area of flare training. We would have at Milford Bay had in attendance 22 fisher folk. We would have distribute, trained and distributed 66 flares. Mr. Spencer says sessions were also held at Quorland Bay, Palo Tovier and Castara. At Quorland, 10 participants received 30 flares, while at Palo Tovier, 22 people got 69 flares. And at Castara, 54 people were trained and they got 72 flares. The division is also continuing its training series on seafood handling. We would have also continued training in the area of fish handling and fish processing. We would have completed two series of training programs, one at the Argyle Community Center and one at the Pigeon Point Fish Facility. These training programs are meant to improve the safety of fisher folk out at sea. It's also meant to provide safe food and sanitary conditions for consumers who visit the island's various fishing facilities. I'm Amadara Mills for Info Update. Tobago commemorates World Disaster Risk Reduction Day. Kern de Freitas has the details. Tobago has joined the world in commemorating World Disaster Risk Reduction Day today. And Tobago Emergency Management Agency, TEMA, Director Alan Stewart, says the island is ready to respond to disasters. He says education is also key to ensuring that risks associated with natural disasters are reduced. And we would like to recognize this day by paying attention to some of the things that we have done. As you know, the team is Lift to Tell Tobago, uh, and therefore things that we have done so far to reduce risk reduction for the island speak primarily to a, one is our early warning systems. Mr. Stewart says the early warning systems are effective in reaching Tobago's communities. He adds that they provide early warnings to the public of potential hazards that may impact the communities. We have improved our communication assets whereby we now are able to keep our population abreast with some of the risks or exposures through our virtual vision app. So that could be considered one of the key areas in our information management system. In recognizing World Disaster Risk Reduction Day, Mr. Stewart says Tobago has a unique emergency management system. He says the community-based approach, where resources are decentralized, is a new phase of emergency management for the island. I'm Kuhn De Freitas for Info Update. Tobago will host the annual National Convention of Teachers tomorrow to celebrate the role of teachers in society and in developing the nation's children. As a result, all schools in Tobago will be closed tomorrow. This was confirmed in a release from the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport. The event is an annual initiative that takes place every year in eight educational divisions across Trinidad and Tobago. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Josan Brassi, and you've been listening to Important. The Chief Secretary's Secondary School Art Competition is back again. It's time to make your mark and take home the top prize. Paint, draw, create and submit your entry via your school to the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary. Deadline for submission is Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m.